better thinking habits. One of the major things Shove taught me when I met him, he said, poor thinking habits keeps most people poor. Not poor working habits. Most people work hard, but they don't think hard. And Shove taught me that the mind is like a factory, a mental factory. And whatever you think about all day long pours ingredients into this mental factory. And that's what builds the economic, social, financial fabric of your life. He quoted me a Bible phrase that says, as you think, so you become. How awesome. When he talked about poor thinking habits, he had me. I used to start the day reading the morning newspaper. I mean, you can believe that or not. I'd get a cup of coffee and read the paper. I'd load up on wars and riots and murders and stabbings and killings and bank robberies and muggings and car wrecks and tragedies. I'd even read the back pages. I seem to like that stuff for some weird reason. I'd load up on all that and then I'd start the day. You can imagine the kind of days I used to have. You walk around on your financial knees. They call you economic peewee. The guy says, I want to be a great leader. Wonderful. The first thing we do is follow him to his house. When we get there, we walk in and check his library, number one. Somebody says, well, why check his library? The reason is because what a man reads pours massive ingredients into his mental factory and the fabric of his life is built from those ingredients. You would not believe what some people have got in their house to read. You would not believe. One of the best dressed up words I know for a lot of it is trash. <laughs> Can you imagine dumping a barrel of trash into this mental factory every day and coming out with a rich, dynamic, positive life? It can't be done. You might as well try making a cake with cement. The kids back in Danbury, Connecticut, high school, they're asking me questions one day. I'm talking to the kids. Kids got good questions these days. One of them said to me, Mr. Rohn, how do you build the good life? I said, it's simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. Here's how you build anything. Select the right ingredients, keep out the wrong ingredients, and it starts with thought. Everything starts with thought. So you must be wise and careful what you think about because that starts everything. You gotta be wise and careful. I asked the kids, what would happen if somebody dropped sugar in my coffee? They said, well, you'd be okay. I said, what if somebody dropped strychnine in my coffee? They said, well, you'd be dead. I said, correct. Lesson one, life is both sugar and strychnine. You gotta be careful. I said, what if my worst enemy drops in the sugar? They said, will you be okay? I said, what if my best friend, even by accident, drops in the strychnine? They said, well, you'd be dead. I said, correct. Lesson two, watch your coffee. <laughs> You gotta be careful. See, it doesn't matter who hands you the bad stuff. It doesn't matter where you get the bad stuff. It'll still do its damage on your bank account. Wherever you get it. Mr. Schoff gave me one of the greatest phrases when I first met him when he said, Jim, every day stand guard at the door of your mind. How important. Stand guard at the door of your mind. And you decide what goes into your mental factory. Don't let anybody just dump anything they want to in your mental factory, because you've got to live with the results. <laughs>